Hey guys, well, it's the next morning. Of course, I don't know if you'll see the video I had uploading because my stinking internet at home is so bad. When I left this morning, it had up. It's it was only up to 74%, and I started it last night. My video that I made yesterday, I started it last night about 10, and it was still only only 74% when I left. I left it going. I kind of doubt it's going to upload. I don't know. I'm going to have to call somebody to see why in the world it's taking so long for my videos to upload. Anyway, as you remember, well, I don't know if you remembered, I have a M5 that I use now, Canon EOS M5. And the problem I had with it is the screen goes down instead of up or to the side like most of the other ones do. So I was watching a This Is Me channel. Rob showed, he got one of these and he had the same problem, of course. And because when you put this, these uh, Joby tripods, you can't, uh, the screen won't come all the way down. It like stops right there because the tripod sticks out farther. So I did like him and I jury rigged away by putting a mending plate into the uh, this little screw thing I don't know what you call them it's like a little thing right there screw that into the actual uh, tripod mount and then got a mending plate is what they're officially called they're like I guess I should have took this off before I put it on anyway it's like a two inch mending plate right there and then I mounted the uh, tripod tripod holder thing right there so now I got so much crap in here I can put my tripod on there I don't know why I got this strap on there I've always just kept it on and now I can move it down all the way I mean I can't see the whole thing the whole screen right there because of this but it, it's I, I can see enough that I can tell that I'm in in the in the shot so I can like do all that and stuff like that I just thought I'd show you that before uh, I meet my uh, YouTube buddies so I guess the next shot I will be with them and you'll find out who it is by the way I'm meeting some YouTube friends and we're going somewhere I don't know if they've told or not but we're going out to uh, a place that I've been actually wanting to go for a while because there's a geocache there and plus it's a recognizable landmark I guess anyway I will talk to you guys later okay guys I know it's been a while since I've well except for yesterday I'm here with I told, oh, I told you that I was coming with a uh, some YouTubers, and here they are. Do you know Hi. who these people are? Hey. AKR, AKAR Lives. I have trouble saying that. <laughs> and uh, we came here to Jesse Chisholm's grave. Today, or tomorrow, he'll be gone. 150 years, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 150 years. Yeah. This is the, uh, whatever you call it, memorial. And his grave is down there. Wow. But this is the this is a site that he died on. And uh, you have a, a lot of a big view right here. Let me get the look at the you can see pretty far from up here. Okay, now we're gonna get walk down to the where he's actually buried. It's got a, oh, there's a little trail down there. It's the Chisholm Trail. <laughs> <laughs> We're close but to the Chisholm Trail. We passed it on the way here. You should have heard Abby <laughs> when she was coming up here. I was pretty excited. I'm gonna, I may get Abby to tell you a little bit of history about this. Well, little, yeah, um, go ahead. 
Jesse Chisholm was um, half Indian, or he was half Cherokee and half Scottish, and he um, lived in this area, but he also had a place up in Wichita where we're from. And he used to go back and forth between the two trading posts carrying goods to sell to the Indians here in what used to be Indian territories, now Oklahoma. And on one of his trips down here, he um, suddenly fell ill. He had eaten some bad beer, beer, beer bear meat, <laughs> some bad bear meat or bear grease um, that was in a copper kettle. And it's thought that the copper reacted to the meat and caused it to go bad, but they didn't realize it. And so it made him really sick. Um, and he passed away within 24 hours of, of having eaten it. Um, and so his Indian friends just buried him here rather hastily. Um, and it's, it's near his trail. It's, it's near where they, the gathering spot where they used to meet and trade together. And um, so now you can come and visit here. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it's not far from Oklahoma City. I leave coordinates to, there's a cache nearby. And one of the reasons Ooh. why I wanted to come. So I'll leave coordinates to that. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check it out. Yeah a little later but okay. uh this is wow look at this this is the grave it looks look like some this. people have been chipping off on it yeah it does taking souvenirs but this isn't the original the original they just had a wooden marker but it wouldn't have lasted oh so look. which way is a chisel trail from here is it that way oh we passed it and i think so it was it's, it's west i believe it's west of here mm-hmm that okay. seems right. So the Ch actual Chisholm Trail would be that way. That way. And yeah, because they crossed the Canadian. Because remember, he's uh, in Mead's writing. Mead, James Mead is who wrote about the death because he was a, he kind of happened upon the grave. He was supposed to meet him to trade, and he said he crossed the Canadian River, which would be just right here, and um, happened upon the grave. Which, out in this open space, I'm amazed that he would have even seen the little wooden marker that was there, honestly. But so we're, it, we're kind of in a grove of little trees here. We're in a grove of trees, but they called this, they refer to this as the hill, and it is sort of a hill. And this is where they would sometimes meet with the Indians and like, you know, this was like a meeting spot because they didn't have names for places. So they would meet at a certain hill or a big distinctive tree. So I guess this being a hill was a logical place for them to meet. And he came here looking for him and instead found this grave. So. And who knows, these trees may have not even been here again. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, there's water down there, so they're probably they're probably following this creek. Yeah. The reason where, one of the reasons we're here, people put money on it. I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah. They put coins. Um, this is a, tomorrow, actually today is the third. Tomorrow is the 150th anniversary is actually called an anniversary so. that was death yeah. so march 4th 1868 150 years that's a long time more chipping away at his uh i know that's some flowers to put on this grave. Sorry guys, I just figured it out. I don't know why, I just now figured it out. But I didn't do a uh, closing, an ending to the video that me, Keith, and Abby took to the Chisholm uh, grave. So I just thought I'd do it here. Make sure you guys check out their channel. Go watch the video. I'll link the video, their video here. And uh, somewhere, I don't know if I'll do it here or down there or both or whatever. But they do a lot better job of, of this day that we had. Um, and they're an awesome couple. They, it was so fun to meet them and hang out with them. I'm going to have to go up to Wichita now and uh, hang out for longer. But uh, anyway, go check out their channel. If you like this, I'm going to try to do a lot more videos. 
So check it out, and uh, I guess I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.